Hey, Jeremy here. I'm going to be showing you how to use the magic wand and selection tools in Illustrator CC. You can see here I've got two patterns. This pattern on the left has only two colors and this one on the right has multiple colors. So the one tool is on the left hand side. You can see it's on the top left and if it's one below the selection tool, you can see it's got a one with like three little stars. You click that and you'll see your mouse, your mouse will change to that magic wand. So what it does is if I select an object, it's going to select multiple, all the other objects that have that same color or same look and appearance. So if I select this red, it's going to select all these other shapes of the red. So you can see I can pull the pattern off there and it has selected all of those. I'm just going to control Z that. I'm going to unlock this pattern now and I'll just lock this. And what I'll do, I'll do it again. I'm going to select the magic wand and go for and select one of these colors. So you can see what it's done. You can see I've got two similar shades of orange, one dark and one light. But you see the magic one can't really distinguish between the two, so it just selects both. That's the problem with using the magic tool. But it is good if you want a quick selection and if you know your colors are very high contrast and they're easy to select. So you can see again, if I select these other ones, you can see it's selecting all these other shades and even the background because it recognizes it all as like a red color. So to counteract this, what we have to do is use the selection tools. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this light, this orangey color here. I'm going to go to my top left corner and press select in the menu. What we're going to do is go down to the same and we have all these options. So you can see we've got appearance, we've got blending mode, fill and stroke, fill color, opacity, stroke, stroke weight, which is pretty cool. You can also select object and you can select all these objects by strokes, clipping masks, or text objects or point type. So these work as the same as doing this. It's just more refined search. But we, what we're going to do is focus on the same. So what I'm going to do is press fill color. So what it now should do is select all those shapes with the same fill color. And you can see now that it's selected all the right correct shapes that I want. All these ones are the same orange color. We can do it with the red one as well. Select fill color. And you can see if I drag it off, it selected all those colors. So you can see this is a, a much better way of doing your selections instead of doing it with the magic wand. As you can see there. Super cool. You can also do it by blending mode and appearance. If I select appearance, it should select the same one. Sometimes if the color is really close or if the object looks the same, it will select it, um, the ones you don't want. So be mindful of that one as well. You can also do it by opacity. So if I select these, these orange color, and if I drop the, let's just uh, quickly select these. If I drop the opacity of this to 40%, and if I go same opacity, you can see it will still select it by the opacity because they've all got 40%, which is pretty cool. If I add like a stroke to it, and then I'll get some other ones with the same stroke. I'll go select, same, and then you can go fill and stroke. So it will select the same ones with the fill and the same stroke you've selected. I can also go stroke weight as well, but you can see how this stroke weight is thicker, so it's not going to select those. So you can see this, this one is 6 point and this one is 10 point. So if I go select, same, stroke weight, it's going to select all these ones with the same stroke weight, which is pretty cool. And then you can also go with the stroke color. But you can see now, when I did the stroke color, it selected all those other ones because all these ones have the same color swatch. Even though this one has lower opacity, it's still using the same color swatch, which is this black color on the top corner you can see there, with these ones. So that's what's going to happen if you select the same uh, stroke color. So you can see you've got all these options, but this is the best way to make selections. It's great if you're using illustrations or even patterns, or you have to really abstract infographic or something like that. This, then these select tools is really going to benefit you in that situation. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Let me know in the comments below of what tutorials you want to see in the future. And click that subscribe button and hope you guys have a good day.